Yeah, that's the good stuff. Hey everybody, this is Spreece and Spreece is me, and I decided to do a new series to start to do story times. So pretty much is I have a bunch of stories that are already planned, and if you guys like this story time, I will be doing some more for you guys. So this story is pretty much how I almost got arrested because I tried to break into my house. Yeah, it's very wonderful. I'll just say my friend. I'm not going to use any fake names or anything like that because this isn't too much of a story where I'll have to use a fake name. But I'm going to tell you it anyways. This old house, I don't live in it now anymore, but I lived in it for nine years, which was a long time. And my room was in the front side of the house. So, like, I would have my room and it was in the front next to our door. And it was in the front yard so everybody could see. Nothing really interesting about that, but just a little bit of imagery for you guys. Um, well, what happened was one day me and my friend uh, were outside, it was pretty nice, uh, it was a pretty nice day, and out of how I was when I was younger, I was like, hey, 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 you, you, you want to break into my window? Uh, why? Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, so I pretty much wasn't, wasn't very smart when I was younger. I kind of did a few stupid things, but with that friend I had, we both kind of did that anyway with each other. We used to be kind of a adventurous in a way, I guess. Anyway, so pretty much what I did was, uh, I think my window was open, or it was open on the inside, but it was hard to open up from the outside. So what I did was I found a stick in the yard and I shoved it between the, like wedged it in, and I started like cranking it and trying to get my window open so we can climb into it. There was this neighbor that was right across from us and they hated us. So I'm pretty sure they're the ones who might've called the police on us. I'm not absolutely sure. But it could be a possibility. Nobody else was around outside at this time, but me and my friend decided to do it anyways, and we weren't even trying to be sneaky about it at all. I tried to open it, but the stick broke, so at that point I was just trying to wedge it open with my hands. All good, fine, and dandy, till a van stopped in front of our house. Now the thing about this van is it wasn't a police car. It was an undercover cop. Yeah, very fun. Since it was an undercover cop, I had no idea what was happening until I heard this guy's voice say, hey, what are you doing? And so I turned around and I was terrified. Pretty much what I did was I said, hey, uh, hi, officer. Um, uh, this is my house. What is your name? Gave him my name and then I also gave him, I gave him my full name. And I also gave him my address, which was the house I was at. He looked like he was mad in a way. I mean, I would be mad too. But I said to him, Officer, um, this is my house. I was just trying to break it to my window. Uh, I don't mean to do anything illegal here. And so he asked me to prove that this was my house, and he asked if I had a house key. Sadly, the door to my house was open. I walked into my house on my own, and I couldn't find the house key. I was around, looking around in my house everywhere, but I didn't know where there was an extra house key anywhere, so I came back out, and I, I said to the officer, uh, sir, I, I can't find my house key, but but I promise this is my house. Uh, and he said, he gave a nod, and he said to me, Next time, maybe you should go in through the door. And so that's pretty much the story. This whole time that it happened, my friend was staring at me awkwardly while I was getting fished out. And that's pretty much the story. Uh, the guy left, and... I was pretty close to, if the guy wasn't such a nice guy, I probably would have been in the back of that car. I would probably be in the back of that car going to the police station. So that's pretty much the time I almost got arrested. It was, it was nice. I mean, once in a while me and my friends still talk about how it happened and we joke about it now. But that probably could be a little warning to everybody that you probably shouldn't break into your house. Just, just be good kids, stay in school, don't do drugs. <laughs> but that's all I have for you guys. Um, make sure to show a little bit of support if you like my video because I want to make a series out of this and I want to know if you guys liked it or not. If you guys liked it, keep leave a comment in the description uh, if you want more, if you just want to talk about whatever because I always read your comments. 
then go right ahead because I have more stories. I actually have a, another story time that I want to tell you guys about the time I almost died. I will do that video if you guys give it a like, tell me if you like it, and also if you guys ever want to follow me on any of my social media, I have it down in the description to go now because I have to go bring an addresser into my room. <laughs> Fun times. I hate winter by the way. Uh, anybody else hate winter? Because I sure do. To all the people who don't live in America or anywhere cold right now, you are very lucky. Congratulations. Thank you guys for watching. Give a like. I will see you later. Uh, this is Priestess Priestess Me, and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.